Hey everybody, welcome to the third video in this series on solving systems of equations uh, with substitution. Here I'm going to give you three variables and none of them are solved. So none of the equations will explicitly say x equals or y equals or z equals. Okay, so that being said, let's just get started. What you want to do is you want to look at your three equations and you'll want to see which equation um, looks easiest to deal with. And for me, that's the top one. I know I can just minus x over, and this will be equal to y. Or I can just minus y over, and it will be equal to x. And then I can just sub it into another equation. So whichever one you want to solve for, x or y, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, whatever you want, just go with it and be consistent. But I'm just going to, I guess I'll just solve this for x. So that means I'll need to minus y over to the other side and then again keep it separate from the 9 because 9 minus y can't combine to make a single number so you can write 9 minus y or negative y plus 9 that doesn't really matter but now you have an x equals a uh, statement so to speak so what I can do with that is just take it and then plug it in for x into either the second or the third equation but You'll want to plug it into the second one because look at this second equation. It's got an x and a y. It's only got two variables. Uh, this one has x, y, and z. It's got three variables. So the um, the most beneficial thing to do is to plug it into the second equation with only two variables because what's uh, what that's going to do is that's going to eliminate the x variable because you just wrote, th we're going to write 3, and instead of writing the letter x, we're going to write 9 minus y and then bring down the rest of the equation, minus y equals 11. See, so now I only have one letter in here. Two, I have two y's. Um, whereas if I plugged it into the bottom one, I'd have a y in this one, a y here, and a z there. So it's not really helping me because I, have, I still have uh, two variables left. So here I only have one variable, um, and that's the letter y. So I'm going to distribute. So I have 27, 3 times 9 is 27 minus 3y, bring down the, the rest, minus y equals 11. Remember, when you're distributing, only multiply towards what's inside the parentheses. Don't multiply 3 times anything outside of it. Okay, combine like terms. This is going to make negative 4y equals 11. And then bring down that 27, of course. And so they can't combine 27 minus 4y can't equal 23y because they need to both have y's in order for that to happen. So what you need to do is minus the 27 to the other side. And 11 and 27, those are like terms. They don't have letters with them. So that makes negative 16. This makes negative 4y. Put the equal sign there. And then get rid of any whole number by a letter by dividing. Negative 4y means negative 4 times y, so the opposite of that would be divide. So negative 16 divided by negative 4 is positive 4. So y equals positive 4. So we found our first answer. Um, so you can take this and then you can plug it in right there and you'll find your x answer. So if x equals 9 minus y, then x equals 9 minus 4. So 9 minus 4 is 5. So now I have an x equals answer. So I can take these two numbers, x equals 5, y equals 4, and plug them into my third equation. So x equals 5, I'll take that, plug it in right there. y equals 4, I'll take that, plug it in right there. So I have 2x, 2 times 5, minus 3y, minus 3 times 4, plus e, equals 6. All right, so now just um, do your multiplication. 2 times 5, that makes 10, minus 3 times 4, that makes 12, plus z equals 6. Do 10 minus 12, that's going to get you negative 2, plus z equals 6. Again, negative 2 plus z does not combine because they need to have the same letter in common. 
So I'll take that too and add it to the other side. And then you're going to get z equals 8. So I've gotten my, my three answers now. x is 5, y is 4, z is 8. So you write it as an ordered triple. 5, comma, 4, comma, 8. Ordered pair goes x, comma, y, and ordered triple goes x, comma, y, comma, z. And that's it for number one. So for number two, the easiest thing to start off with would be to plus this y to the other side. So you have a positive x here, and that equation will be solved for x. So because I'm a math teacher, I'll show my work. I'll put plus y. And then it doesn't matter if you write negative 10 plus y or y minus 10. I'll just write y minus 10. So here's my equation for x. I'm going to take that, plug it into the next one, because that one only has two variables again. And so I'll have uh, 10 parentheses, y minus 10, and then minus 3y equals negative 16. I'll distribute the 10 to what's inside the parentheses. And then I guess before I do that, you'll notice I plugged in a y minus 10 in place of x. Now I only have the y variable there. So that's good. I'll be able to solve for the y variable and, and get an answer for y. Um, okay, so 10 times y is 10y. 10 times negative 10 is negative 100. Bring down the minus 3y equals negative 16. And now combine your like terms, meaning combine your two y terms. 10y minus 3y is 7y. Bring down the minus 100 equals negative 16. So, again, I, I try and point this out as often as I can. I can't combine these and say it's negative 93. This has a y, that doesn't. So it stays separate like that. So what you should do is add 100 to the other side. 7y equals 84. Negative 16 plus 100 is 84. So, always split up a number and a letter, a whole number and a letter, by dividing. If it's a fraction, you would flip it and multiply, but we don't do fractions that often. And so we get y equals 12. So if y equals 12, and x equals y minus 10, then I can say x equals 12 minus 10, which is just 2. So x equals 2. So now I have my x and y answers. I can plug them in. There's x. Plug in y. <laughs> I don't know how to draw this line. There. All right. Okay, so I plugged in everything off camera. Instead of negative 3x, I have negative 3 times 2, because x was 2. Plus 2y becomes plus 2 times 12, because y was 12. And then bring down the plus 2z equals 20. Okay? So now just do the math. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Plus 2 times 12 is 24. Bring down the plus 2z equals 20. All right, and so we'll combine like terms. My like terms here are the negative 6 and 24. That would make 18. Bring down the plus 2z equals 20. And again, I can't combine 18 and 2z because this has a z and that doesn't. So that's as simple as it gets. So what you should do is move this 18 to the other side. So it's a positive 18. I'm going to move it to the opposite side. So I'll do the opposite sign. So I always say opposite side, opposite sign, or opposite side, opposite operation. They mean the same thing. Um, so yeah, minus it to the other side is what I'm trying to say. 20 minus 18 is 2. And then always split up a whole number in a letter by dividing. So divide both sides by 2, and you get z equals 1. So now you have your x, y, and z answer. So you're ready to write your ordered triple. My ordered triple would be x was 2, y was 12, z was 1, 
box it up because that's the final answer. Okay? So let's move on to example three. Or I guess letter C. So in the third example here, um, it's uh, technically substitution, but I'm not going to have to really solve anything. I just need to determine is 1, 1, negative 9 a solution to the system? So remember, if you're given a point, you're given an x value, a y value, and a z value. So you can plug all those in. Um, so that's actually what you have to do. It's not that you can do it. It's just that you have to do it. So I'm going to plug in everywhere I see an x, I'll plug in a 1. Everywhere I see a y, I'll plug in a 1. Everywhere I see a z, I'll plug in a negative 9. And then you got to evaluate. you got to evaluate and see if it equals negative 16, 30, and 4. Okay, so let me show you what that'll look like. Alright, so here I plugged everything in. I plugged in, you know, 1 for x, 1 for y, negative 9 for z. Alright, and that's how, this is how you would show your work. Okay, and then if you have a scientific calculator or a graph calculator, just type in exactly how it is. Every time I replace the letter, I put the number in parentheses. All right, and so um, you know, adding in parentheses never hurt anyone. Okay, but not using parentheses can get you the wrong answer. It matters mostly when there's negative numbers, but it couldn't hurt just plugging it in with uh, off the positive number either. So it's easier to show my work that way too. So here you can see every time I substitute, substitute it in for x, y, and z. And so I typed this into the calculator. I press enter, it gave me negative 16, so I checked it off. I typed it into the calculator, it gave me 30, so I checked it off. I typed all this in, it gave me negative 4, so I checked it off. As long as all three work, you get yes, it is a solution. So if you have two yeses and one no, then the answer is no. Um, if you have one yes and two no's, it's still a no. So they need to all agree in order for it to be a solution. So with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for the notes. Hit that like and subscribe button if you learned something. Um, I feel like such a tool saying that, but oh well. <laughs> um, and thanks for watching. Bye.